here so that like you can see the blonde through. Early contender for weirdest news story of the year. Shafali, I won't ask you to do a Geordie accent, but you can do the weather no, for I'll us. I'll practice. <laughs> <laughs> later, yeah. Maybe that has something to do with the snow, actually. But uh, Staffordshire woke up to snow this morning, a very wintry scene. Of course, it was forecast yesterday. It was within the warning area. and We've had uh, around two centimetres of snow since last night, and there's more to come. We've got warnings in place for Staffordshire through the rest of the day, tomorrow, and also Thursday, and we've also got one for snow and ice covering Shropshire as well for the same period. Uh, but this is how it's looking behind the scenes. We've got an area of low pressure sitting out towards the northeast, and that's drawing in our winds right down from the Arctic, so very cold indeed. This high pressure starts to push in from Thursday into Friday, and then it's low pressure bringing in very unsettled conditions over the weekend. Very wet and windy, but you can see those snow showers starting to trickle down from the northwest by the time we get to Thursday as the wind direction changes changes ever so slightly. But through this afternoon, plenty of glorious sunshine to enjoy. There's largely dry conditions uh, today, temperatures around 3 to 4 Celsius. Tonight, that's going to be replaced by those snow showers moving into the north of the region. Elsewhere, looks largely dry and clear, and uh, temperatures down to minus 2, a widespread frost into tomorrow. Shivali, thank you very much. Right, that's all for now. Nick Owen will be here as usual at 6.30, but from all of us here on the Lunchtime team, have a lovely afternoon. Bye for now.